Hello my magical beautiful souls, I'm very happy to see you here today and in today's reading I will try to answer the question what does he want, what kind of relationship does your person want with you, um, how do they see this connection progressing and what does their heart desire in regards to you and I've got four piles of cards for you, pile number one with a um, yellow aventurine stone Pile number two with a clear quartz stone. Pile number three with carnelian stone. And pile number four with green aventurine stone. Take your time, listen to intuition. You can say the name of your person out loud or in your mind to connect to their energies. And then choose the pile that resonates with you the most. I will see you in the readings. Hello everyone who chose pile number one. Let's look at what does your person want in this current moment. We've got four of cups, prison, we've got seven of swords, enemy, we've got king of wands, servant, we've got the goddess, Mm -hmm. Magician in the mirror And we've got deep knowing I'm sensing from the very beginning that this person is feeling quite powerless in regards to this connection, in regards to you There is just this energy of I need to take time, I need to take a pause with this Four of Cups energy. It's almost like this person is feeling trapped in some circumstances, possibly they don't know how to improve this relationship, how to make it more um, deep, how to make it more strong and for some reason they feel defeated, they feel, they feel as though they are trapped in some circumstances that that are preventing them from reaching you, from expressing their emotions to you, from expressing their love to you. It's not that they don't want to do this, but they feel trapped in some thinking patterns, uh, possibly some external circumstances, and uh, that's why they are closing off emotionally from you. It's almost like they are taking a step back, they are not moving towards you, I feel like this person is resting, currently they are definitely taking their time, they are not in strong communication with you, they are taking their time, because they feel attached to something, because they feel like they are not free, they can't make their own decisions just yet, possibly for some people this person is taken, or they have someone else that's holding them back, or it's just their living circumstances that don't really help the situation. And this person is feeling defeated, they are feeling stuck and confused and like they can't really be active right now with you. That's why they are very contemplative, they are taking their time, they are resting their energies, they are trying to come to this peace and stable energy. But at the same time I feel like what do they really want? I don't see this person coming forward to you openly. It's almost like they want you to see as this king of wands, as this figure of respect, someone very passionate, very strong-willed, someone very um, success-oriented, someone very brave, courageous, someone that has achieved a lot and, uh, and they want you to serve them, they want you to be um, almost like someone who would obey them or like bow down to them but at the same time how do you want this relationship how do you want this person to respect you if you're not being honest with yourself even this is so strange you know I feel like what this person really wants is they want to be sneaky and uh, by being sneaky, possibly wearing some masks, possibly being defensive and um, hostile 
that's their way of making you respect them that's their way of making you feel like yes this is the true man this is someone very strong very courageous very passionate very successful and that's why i'm going to serve him that's why i'm going to love him that's why i'm going to take care of him but that's not working out for this person it's not working out for them with you because you see through them you're very perceptive you're very intuitive and i feel like the fact that they can't keep up the pretenses they can can't keep demanding this respect from you this care from you this unconditional love from you as almost like they were trying to put themselves on a pedestal for you to see that you are less than them but that's not true and now they realize that and now i feel like mm, i feel like this person is <sighs> trapped in their own um, illusions of how they wouldn't want you to see them but at the same time I feel like there was a moment in the past when you saw through them and you showed them their own shadow. You showed them their own flaws and things that don't really match with the facade that they put on, the masks that they wear. And they felt deeply ashamed. They felt deeply hurt by the truth. Because that's not what they wanted you to see. That's why they're taking step back. That's why you don't hear from them possibly for many of you. That's why they're qu someone got ghosted by this person. I feel like who's going to be watching this pal one. Some of you really felt like this person disappeared and there was possibly blocked you and there was some unexplained silence. This is just because you triggered them on a very deep level. They got into their own deep prison of their psyche of their fear, of their embarrassment, that they are not this king of wands that they are trying to pr display to others, especially to you. And it's all, <laughs> it's all because they see you as this goddess, as someone that they admire on so many levels, they are so attracted to you, they see you so beautiful, so radiant, so brilliant, you are so spiritual and uh, you have all of it. Like, you have all of the aspects of a woman that they want to see. Um, very uh, physically attractive, very smart, brilliant mind, very good sense of humor, self-confident, very spiritual, wise. You are this goddess. They see you as someone just unbelievably, incredibly beautiful. And they can't live up to that image of yours that they see. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to project their own wounds, their own um, insecurities on you. And that's not really working. Of course they trigger you here and there, but are they really the king of wands that they are trying to seem? That's the question. This also feels like a lot of uh, projecting this energy, this relationship. It's almost like you mirror to them their own pain, their own wounds, their own insecurities. And they do the same for you. But it feels like, to me, it feels like you've worked through this before, unlike them. They are facing this whole situation for the first time. Even though they want to wear these masks with you, they want to take their time, they want to portray themselves as this king of wands to you they have a deep knowing deep deep inside of them they know that you are the one they know that you are this goddess that they they worship you in their heart late at night when they're thinking about you they're worshiping your perfection deeply inside of them they know that you are the one for them that you are just perfect the perfect match for them that they love everything about you but it's so deep within them, it's just that it doesn't really come up to the surface of their conscious understanding of how they can change this relationship, how they can make you feel loved. Everything they do is not, it's not working the way they planned it to. 
Let's get a few messages from this person in regards to how they feel about you. Very interesting energy. I see a lot of sneaky energy. Like this person is here one day and they are out next day. And uh, very inconsistent energy as well. Hot and cold energy. Uh, it's almost like they admire their own image in your eyes. The way you see them, the way you decide to help them, the way you want to be kind towards them, the way you want to care for them. That all of this makes them think that, yeah, I'm this king of wands then, then I'm this amazing, I'm this incredible. But are you really? What do you contribute to this relationship? It's almost like they want you, they know your value, but um, they're not ready to change the dynamic of this relationship just yet. Because there is nothing that they can, they really want to invest in this relationship other than this, other than, uh, this King of Wands energy, which is this proud, um, very determined, very passionate, sexual energy. It's more like they are more concerned about how they are seen by you in this relationship rather than what they should be doing in this relationship to make it better. Mm. How do they feel about you right now? How do they feel about you, Pile One? How do they feel about you? I wish things could be different. Yeah, they they're definitely feeling stuck. With this whole situation, they're feeling stuck and they have no idea how they got to this situation, how they got to this stage of, like, you know, quicksand for them. Yeah, they're feeling stuck. I hate who I really am from you. This person was wearing masks. They were not who they really were. And you know that. And they know that. You saw through them. It's almost as though they feel so ashamed because they didn't, couldn't even trace the moment when you saw through them, when you discovered that they are not who they are showing you. It's just this moment slipped, slipped away and they couldn't even trace it, but one day they just woke up and realized that, yeah, she's seen through me, what an idiot I am. Hmm. I am so attracted to you. Yeah, very, very strong physical attraction here coming from this person. They love your body, they love your touch, they love to be in your energy, they love your smell. Everything about you is so magnetic. They're really almost, you know, I want to say drunk on you. <laughs> yeah, they definitely are. What else? What else do you feel? How are you feeling towards those who are watching this? Pile number one. Pile number one, how are you feeling? My love for you is without the bound. Mm -hmm. They know you're the one, but why have you been making so many mistakes and trying to be who you're not? That's... Yeah, this is why <laughs> the next message they want to tell you. I'm terrified of you. They put you on a pedestal and they feel like, okay, this woman is definitely out of my league, so what should I do? I should make her feel inferior to me. And that's how I will prove to myself that I deserve her. That's a very strange logic, but that's how they were feeling. What I would give to run my fingers through your hair. That strongly sensing that this person loves your hair, especially if you have long hair or average length, they just love touching it, uh, playing with it, and yeah. <laughs> very interesting. They love your hairstyles, the way you do your hair. Let's get a few more cards for how they feel about you. 
How do you feel with those who are watching this pile number one? We have this card of protection. I just want to keep you safe and warm. Mm -hmm. Possibly that's their deepest desire, but the way they go about it is not very sincere. That's, th that's the thing here. We have forgiveness. Please forgive me. Yeah, and they know that they made their mistakes. Possibly you can wait for them to come with apology, with some form of expression of love, of emotional attachment. And we have card, <laughs> just just what I said, love. You are the one. Mm -hmm. They see you as someone absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect. All they ever wanted. It's their own demons that they need to fight first before continuing this relationship, I feel like. Because you are suffering. You really do. Okay, pile one, this was it for you. I hope you liked your reading. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give me, give me a like or subscribe. And uh, the donation link is also down below. And if you want a private reading with me, uh, you can find my email down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next videos. Bye, bye, bye. Hi, everyone who chose pile number two. Let's look at what does your person want currently. We've got judgment, we've got melancholy, we've got justice, oh, very interesting, child, we've got ace of swords, we've got old woman, embrace, we've got round and round, and we've got third chakra, Archangel Camuel. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this person wants a new beginning in this relationship. They want fresh energy. Because there has been some... It almost feels like this person wants a reunion with you because they missed you. So many of you who are watching this, your person really missed you. They really... They feel sad without you, they feel lost without you, they feel confused, they feel like nothing really makes them happy when you are not with them, nothing really makes them feel alive. And they finally want a new chance with you, a reunion with you, a new chapter of this relationship, some sort of fresh start with you. And they want things to be different this time, they want things to be more profound, more deep, more the way they should be and it feels almost like they know and you know how things should be done now not and, and you both realize that previously the way you've been doing this relationship going about it it wasn't working it definitely wasn't it made you both sad and um desperate and um yeah, unsatisfied, dissatisfied, <laughs> that's the word. This person wants balance in this relationship. They want you. They want this connection. They want to feel like... This is so interesting. I feel like they're tired of emotional... Um, you know, do I want to say immaturity? emotional upheavals that this relationship used to bring along with it emotional up and downs and uh, not knowing what happens next and being on this cortisol high on this oxytocin high every time they're with you it's all amazing but then you're gone it's all so sad and so dreadful and how do they leave it's almost like they feel like a child with you and they can't even control their emotions when they're with you. They can't control their reactions when they are with you. They can't control the way they feel and the way they express themselves. And it was very draining and difficult emotionally for them. And now what they want from this relationship is balance, justice, stability. They want their heart and mind to finally be on the same page. 
They don't want to be wondering if you're going to be there next day or not. They don't want to be so dependent on you. Not in a bad way, but they want to be more secure in this relationship and more sure about where it's going. In what direction. I feel like this person is all about safety. What they really want is clarity and safety. And a new chance here with you. They definitely want to know some truth. They want to hear some truth. It's either they want to express it or they want to know something, know the truth. I feel like they want to communicate it with you more so than anything. They want to communicate some truth with you. And they want to know that you will accept that truth. You will accept what, whatever it is that they will bring to you. The information that they want to share with you. And I feel like they, 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 they trust that you will understand them because you are a wise person. You are someone they respect. You are someone they admire. They admire your, um, mm, what is it like? Knowledge of life, of um, your emotional intelligence. That's what I was trying to say. So they really want to be honest with you here. This is a very, very strong energy of honesty. All of those cards are indicating that they just want to be honest. They want to be clear and radical at times. And um, yeah, but they just want to be honest and they want you to accept them. They want this balance with you. Possibly some of them really want to uh, get married with you. There is a strong indication for marriage and uh, family here because we have this card of justice. And this card to me always says legalities of getting married, like um, legal procedures of getting married. And it's supported by the card of um, child. So that's beautiful. They really want something stable with you. They want marriage. They want partnership with you. But more so, they want honesty. They want to be accepted by you in all of the forms that they have. They want you to embrace them. They Honestly, I feel like some of them, if you're not in the communication or if you're at a distance possibly, all they really want is a hug from you, is embrace from you, is knowing that you will accept them the way they are sad mad happy angry scared all they want to know that um that you will accept their truth really because i feel like you've been going uh, in cycles in this relationship breaking up getting together breaking up getting together or there was a cycle of emotions like you would get um very excited and very passionate about each other and then you would get resentful and possibly uh, cold to each other and then again another excitement and um missing each other but i feel like you are someone that they really want because you are making them you expand their creativity, you're making them more creative, more alive, more confident. Yeah, you make them feel more alive. They want to know that you value them just the way they are. This is very interesting. Let's get a few messages from your person. How do they feel in regards to you? What do they feel to you, pile number two? What does your person feel towards you? This person just really wants balance, equal give and take, and justice in this relationship. Mm, wow, this card just flew out of the deck. <laughs> That's beautiful. It says, I love you unconditionally. It's almost like there is a higher love. When I'm looking at this embrace card, it's not. it doesn't show me anything sexual. I don't see anything physical about it or anything romantic it's almost like you embrace the other person's soul as it is you see it with its flaws with its in its glory and you accept it just as you accept yourself and i feel like this person does love you and they love you unconditionally it's almost like they
they don't really want anything from you other than accepting the same way they accept you. You know? What else? What else do you feel? Pile number two. What do you feel towards those who are watching this? I don't react when people mention you. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a very very mellow person. It's almost like they're trying to stay neutral when things get hard for them, when things get heated and people want reactions from them. They're very philosophical in a way. They're very mild. <laughs> what am I trying to say? It's They have a very soft energy, this person. And I don't feel like they're the one who come up with drama or to make it too exciting or to trigger you. No, I'm not sensing that at all here. They just want honesty, they just want acceptance and they want they want you for a long term justice. They want a marriage with you here. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Mm, interesting. Possibly there is something they they need your forgiveness about. Possibly maybe they said something that was that was harsh or maybe they cut this relationship when it got too difficult. Let's ask for a few more cards. What do you feel towards those who are watching this? Pile number two. What do you feel towards those who are watching this? I feel you so strongly, I can taste your essence. Mm -hmm. I believe you. I feel so much joy with you. It's like I'm a kid again. Yeah, that's what I was just saying in the beginning that you made them feel, you make them feel so almost instinctual. You know, like very naive, very open to new experiences. It's almost like they follow the, your lead and they, I feel like in the past, especially a few, there were instances when they didn't really use their head <laughs> when they were with you and made some decisions. They were like, what was I thinking? How did I, why, why was I behaving that way? Let's get a few more cards. What do they feel towards you? Pile number two. What does your person feel? We've got jealousy. I've been watching you. Maybe if you have moved on with someone else or you just moved on from them, I feel like this person is watching you from afar and it's difficult for them, it's very difficult emotionally. We've got eternity, eternally yours. Yeah, and that's interesting how it falls under the justice card, the card of marriage. And we have these rings here. They're definitely thinking of getting married with you. It's, it's definitely very much on their mind. And we've got love, you are the one. That's so beautiful, so beautiful. Okay, pal number two, that was it for you. I hope you liked it. I hope um, this reading was helpful for you in some way. If it was, please give me a like or subscribe. And uh, there is also a donation link down below. And if you want a private reading with me, you can find my email down below as well. I would be happy to read for you. And uh, I will see you in my next videos. Bye, bye, bye. Hello everyone who chose pile number three. Let's look at what does your person want from you and this relationship. What do they want? We've got the star, love, we've got temperance, waiting, mm -hmm. we've got queen of pentacles, we've got misfortune, we've got transmutation, we've got building blocks, and we've got a woman holding a coin. Mm -hmm. 
This person is dreaming big. They're dreaming big about you, about having you, about loving you, about admiring you, about telling you how special you are, how much they love you, how un unusual you are, how unique you are, how they really see you as someone that that's unlike anyone else they've ever met. They love you. They feel like if they have you, then it's just a miracle. It's just a dream come true. It's just uh, everything they could ever hope for. It's just they can't imagine that someone else can have you because you are the one for them. It's almost like this is the dream I've always wanted. This is the dream woman that I've always wanted to be with. And I feel like it's almost as though that um, I'm getting the sense of admiring from afar, admiring you from afar, even though you may be together, even though you may be living together, some of you, you're very close, but they're still in this, you know, in their dream, in their imagination, in the way they want things to be is they always want to admire you like a star that's far away that's just something like a dream, like a wish like some illusion like some imaginative uh, creature something so beautiful, something so unusual something so shiny, brilliant and so distant and beautiful but they it's almost like they don't want to possess you, they don't want to have you, they don't want to like um, merge with your soul that much because they understand that if they do it, they won't be able to admire you as much. It's almost like you are someone uh, so special for this person, you are someone inc incredibly um, desirable for this person and they don't you know, when something is very desirable for us, some people would just go for it and that's mine and they would just hold on to it and restrict it and put it under the locks in the treasure box. But I feel like this person, the way they want to have you, it's almost like they just want to see you shine. They just want to see you being in your energy, being in your element, doing your thing, whatever you love to do, they see you shining. Possibly you're a public person or you're a creative person, you are doing some, you have some business or something that you do and you do it with love. And they admire this so much, they don't want to restrain you, they don't want to possess you, they want to know that you are in their life, but still you are so unreachable and um, this is such a romantic energy coming through from them. This is not a possessive person at all here. It's not like uh, this is someone who wants to know all of your secrets, who wants to know all of your, um, you know, like, what's the expression? It's almost as though they want to be there for you. They want to help you. They want to support support you, but they don't want to to, to lose this beautiful image of you and your and your magical ways that are so uh, magnetic when you are looking from afar or when you are behind the glass so interesting i'm trying to put this energy into words but <laughs> i'm i'm really out of words here to make it make sense i hope i'm making it make sense for you guys but this is just beautiful, yeah. This person, the way they are not, I absolutely love the way they are not possessive about you. They see how much you shine, how many people admire you, how many people want you. But, that's, but at the same time, they give you all of the freedom in the world. And that's so wise. There is so much acceptance here. There is so much generous, genuine, kind love towards you and your brilliance, and your unconventional ways. Unbelievable. This person wants harmony with you. That's all they want. We've got tempers and waiting. I feel like they're waiting for something to, to happen here because possibly they're waiting 
for you to come forward, for you to accept them, or maybe they're waiting for a good time to move forward to you, or maybe, yeah, they're taking their time, but that's a very harmonious way. It's almost like they remind you that they're in your life, but at the same time they're not pressing, they're not putting you under pressure, or they're not uh, making it hard for themselves. I feel like it's a very harmonious person. They know that everything takes time. Yeah, they know that there's a divine timing for everything in life. And they're just uh, enjoying the time, enjoying every stage of this relationship, even though they have to wait, even though they have to be patient, um, restore their energies, heal possibly. But they just want harmony with you. They want maturity with you, mature relationship. I feel like they want to um, help you find the stability that you are looking for here. They want to make you their wife possibly here. We have this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like they have this almost protective energy in regards to your uh, circumstances in life. There is something that you're trying to achieve, possibly some financial, you're trying to improve your financial situation, your material um, basis in life, maybe you're trying to find work or improve your living situations or maybe you're going through hard times financially and I feel like this person is acknowledging this and they're thinking of ways to help you um, even if they're, um, if they're not already helping you with this. They see you as someone very stable, someone that knows their values, someone that's very resourceful. And um, yeah, they see the way you are changing by the struggles that you are, you are going through, by the pain that you are going through, by these radical changes that are coming into your life out of the blue, and you couldn't ever predict them. But they see you transforming on such deep levels and becoming such a strong person and finding the value in yourself, becoming more resourceful, becoming more stable. They want to contribute to this. They absolutely love your, um, the way you are very um, ambitious and hardworking. And I feel like they want to uh, help you in this way, provide for you, um, help you out in certain situations. And they want to um, build a basis for something really strong here, for something really meaningful here, for long-term commitment, for marriage possibly. They want to work on this relationship. They definitely don't want it to be like a flame, like an explosion, and then it's gone. No, they want it to be... They want to be steady, but they want to be sure. They want to put uh, the basis for this relationship, for this connection, slowly but surely, brick by brick, and then build it into something very stable, very um, valuable, very strong and um, beautiful. They want long term with you, they want stability with you, but at the same time they're not taming you, and I love this about uh, this person's approach. This is beautiful. We have two major arcanas here, the star and the temperance. This is a very significant energy here. This person is very serious about you. This is no this is no games. This is no just a flick. They are thinking about you, they are planning about you and this whole situation and connection, they are very serious here. I feel like this person is very mature, even though they could be very young, they have a very mature and wise soul. And um, yeah, they're not playing, they're not taking it easy, they're not taking easy ways, they're very wise about this whole situation and relationship. I absolutely love this. Um, let's look, let's ask for how do they feel in regards to you. How does your person feel? How does he feel towards those who are watching this? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I have two cards that just fell out. <laughs> I couldn't, didn't even have time to answer the question, but your person is just screaming. <laughs> they want to communicate. Um, the first message is, I feel you even though we are apart. Yeah, I was strongly sensing that they are admiring you from a 
from afar you are somehow different there is something that separates you here somehow you are far away from each other then we have you are the best thing in my life yeah absolutely they value you they see your worth they know that you can make them so happy and that's why it's almost like they're scared to rush it they don't want to rush this um, commitment because they don't want to scare you they want to take their time they want to give you as much time as you need it's a very considerable and very nice peaceful energy that's coming from them we also have got um, I'm afraid to contact you yeah possibly they are a bit um, holding themselves back because yeah they need to find more courage because you are so um, irresistible and attractive for them but that's fine because I feel like their head and their mind and their heart is definitely set on you you are the one what else do they feel towards you Pile number three, what does your person feel to you? What do they feel? How can I ever pay you back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person feels like you've done a lot for them. You taught them a lot and now they feel like they should help you out with your struggles in return. I know that the fire that burns in you is the same that burns in me. Could be very strongly, um, again, fire energy here. You could be fire signs, or I feel like it could definitely be a twin flame situation. Like you are mirroring each other, you are very similar, even though you could be completely different from the first glance. That's how it works. I am so lost in the ocean that is you. That's beautiful. Let's get a few more. What do they feel about you? How do they feel towards you? Pile number three. How does your person feel towards you? How does your person feel towards you? We've got magnetism. I feel you inside me and it drives me insane. <laughs> yeah, very strong physical attraction here. Even though I feel like this person is very wise about it, is very wise, they're not they're not making mistakes. They're not taking you for granted. No. We've got synchronicity. Uh, reminded of you constantly. And we've got isolated i'm empty without you yeah if you are at a distance they definitely miss you they miss your presence your energy in their life so this was it for you pile number three i hope you like this reading i hope it would it was helpful for you please give me a like or subscribe and um if you liked it and uh yeah there is a donation donation link down below if you want a reading with me private reading uh you can find my email down below as well i would be very happy to read for you and i will see you in my next videos bye 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 hi everyone who chose pal number four let's look at what does your person want currently we've got the emperor frivolity We've got Ace of Cups, Conversation, we've got Seven of Pentacles, Cheerfulness, Birth, Attachment, and we've got Flexible. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person is serious about this relationship they are um, you know very they want to go um, they want to be what am I trying to say it's almost like they want to be practical about this they want to be the provider here they want to go in this relationship with serious intentions it's almost like they are done with being 
a player possibly with being uh, very light-hearted, with being not serious about who they're dating, why they're dating that person. Mm. It's almost like they want to prove to themselves even more that they deserve someone as beautiful as you are, as amazing as you are. And they can be someone who can be there for another person. They can be someone a woman can rely on. And um, they want to be strong for you. They want to be uh, practical for you. They want to make decisions in this relationship. It's almost as though they feel like with you, they can finally reach the state of the emperor, the state of being like, I am the man. And I can be serious here and I can take responsibilities. I can be um, respected. They really want to feel respected and uh, they, f they want to feel respect from you as well for doing things for you, for being there for you, for providing for you. They're very serious about this. They want to be this emperor for you. It's not the energy of the king or the knight or page. They want to be the emperor. They see you as the emperor with you in this relationship. Someone that's serious. The energy of a husband almost. And sensing here. What they really want as well is um, a clear and honest and sincere expression of love, of emotion. Through conversations, through not holding back, through not playing games because we have this energy of ace of cups and conversation this person just wants to be able to spill their heart to you and for you to be able to do the same because i feel like they've been in relationships where they couldn't just be emotional with another person their emotions were taken as a weakness as something that the man shouldn't be expressing but with you i feel like they can do both they know that they can be strong, logical, practical, stable, material, like this father figure for you. But at the same time, it's easy for them to show their vulnerabilities with you, to show their love to you, to be cuddly, to be affectionate, to, be, to express their love verbally, like to keep saying how much they love you, how much they appreciate you, how good you make them feel every day. And they want to make the whole world know how how much how happy you make them how much love they have for you they want in the future this to for this relationship to have the same dynamic of not being scared of not holding back of expressing your emotions of showing other person how much you love them that's very important for this person they are no they, are, they don't have any tendencies of holding back of wearing masks of keeping their emotions to themselves. They want a clear and healthy expression with you. That's what they love so much about you, that you make them feel like they can express how they feel easily and effortlessly. And you, you are very mutual about it. You are very reciprocal. You do the same with your emotions in regards to them. Express your love. It's almost like you express your love in a very similar way and you are encouraging them to do it more often. And they love it. They absolutely love it. But I feel like this person um, wants you to be patient for a second here. There is just something that, that they want you to wait for. Wait for them possibly. Or wait for a good moment to um, make this relationship more serious. To bring it to a next level. There is something... F it's almost like they are asking for you to... Please wait for them. That's what I'm sensing here. We've invested so much in this relationship. We've put so much emotions, so much effort and energy in this. Please don't give up. You will reap these rewards. We will be happy. We will be joyful. We will celebrate together. Just please don't give up. Wait just a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like this person wants you to be patient with them. There's just something that they need to take their time with. I feel like, yeah, I'm s again, looking at this birth car card, it's just, I'm sensing marriage here. The dove and this beautiful 
It's almost like this person wants a child with you, they want a marriage with you. I'm seeing this as an embryo, as a fetus, as a womb. Not the womb, what's the word? Placenta. And the dove as a symbol of love, of marriage, of union. And this is exactly what this person wants with you. They want stability, they want long term, they want marriage, and they really want a child with you. I don't know why, but I feel like they really want to have children with you. They want to raise children with you in this beautiful energy of love that you, you two are sharing. They want to belong somewhere. They need to feel attached to you. They want to feel a sense of belonging. Like, this is my home. This is my woman. This is someone I can come back home to every day after work. And I feel so grounded, so happy, so... I feel like I belong. And I, I'm sensing that they are asking for you to be flexible, for you to be patient, for you to understand them a little bit, to be a little bit more flexible with them, to compromise a little bit more, because they know their faults, but they're willing to invest in this relationship. I'm strongly sensing fire signs, air, um, not air, Aries sign, and um, Aries, Cancer, Taurus. Capricorn energy here very strongly coming through and they're just asking for you to be a little bit more patient to be a bit more flexible with them to be more understanding at times because yeah they may be difficult but they love you they want the future with you they want stability with you you are their home you are their happiness I want to ask for um, messages from them on the way how they feel towards you pile number four how does your person feel about you? How do they feel towards you right now? What would they say to you if they could? What would their higher self say to you? How does your person feel in regards to you? Pile four. I will wait for a sign from you. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're looking, uh, looking out for some communication from you, or at least a hint or something that they, that you accept them, that you want them. Because I feel like this person has matured a lot just before meeting you. I feel like they had enough of games, enough of uh, fiery, passionate experiences, of yeah, variety possibly. I feel like this person had a very intense love life before you and I feel like now they have matured and now they know what they want and that's you we have this card I wish I had treated you better possibly there were some moments when they were harsh with you I feel like verbally they could have said things that you didn't really like and couldn't accept and they acknowledge that they feel remorseful here I know that I crossed the line with you yeah another confirmation here Mm. Let's ask for a few more messages from them. How do they feel about you? How does your person feel in regards to you, pile number four? How does your person feel in regards to you? I cannot handle any more heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a very rough past, I'm sensing, in regards to relationships, in regards to dating, choosing partners. They've been through a lot. They have like an emotional baggage from all of those relationships. With you, they, they feel differently though. They feel very differently. You're like a fresh breath of fresh air for this person. My whole body burns at the thought of you. And very strong physical attraction, sexual chemistry is very good between the two of you. I am terrified of you. Yeah, it's almost like they feel you are so perfect. How can they level up? How they can match your energies? How they can be the one you deserve? 
That's the question for them. But they're trying. This person is really trying to be who you need, trying to be this emperor, this ultimate husband, this ultimate man that um, is helpful, that's providing, that's someone you can rely on, someone that you can lean on at difficult times. Let's get a few messages here. How do you feel towards those who are watching this? Uh, number four. We've got destiny. I want forever with you. That's what I was saying. Getting married, having a stable family, stable relationship. You see, we have these rings on a woman's hand. This person is definitely uh, considering making you theirs, getting married with you, proposing, um, getting this relationship to a new level, more commitment. Uh, we've got fresh start and it says, I wish. Yeah, they definitely want a new chance with you for some of you who cut this person off. And we've got dominating. I need you to tell me what to do. Possibly they can't really make a first move because they want you to lead. They want you to tell them what you like, what you want, what what are your wishes and dreams about this relationship so they could adjust their actions accordingly. So this was it for you, pal number four. I hope you liked this reading. I hope it was helpful to you in some ways. If it was, please give me a like or subscribe. And uh, a donation link is down below as well. And if you want a private reading with me, um, you can find my email down below too. I would be very happy to read for you guys. And uh, thank you. I will see you in my next video. Bye, bye, bye.